Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstoday.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh. Students, today we are going to do interest equalization scheme on pre and post shipment rupee export credit scheme. Okay. Important scheme, um, very important for IBPS, RRB, GBO scale 2 and MP Apex bank exam that is going to be held and any other credit officer level exam. Okay. So why this particular uh, topic uh, is important? Okay, explain over so when exporters they export uh, their goods and services from india right they need credit at competitive prices otherwise agar creditors uh, inko exporters ko credit milega 12 15 percent ke pe, they won't be able to compete with the international suppliers with the with their competitors right Wo compete hi kar because they're getting loans at a very high rate of interest in japan the rate of interest is two three four percent in us it's four five percent in india it is like 12 13 percent so indian exporters they are unable to compete with the their competitors that is why that ies scheme interest equalization scheme exists that is the reason so <clears throat> uh Kitna uh, benefit milta hai, kitna ek subvention milta hai, we'll be discussing that and also the RBI circulars in last three, uh, I guess five, six months, we are going to discuss that. Okay. So MP Apex Bank 2024 course is available on bankexamstudy.com. Link to join the course is available in the description. Please check. So what is interest equalization scheme? Uh, the interest equalization schemes, it, it uh, aims to provide financial support to exporters financial support to exporters by reducing the cost of credit for pre and post shipment rupee export credit and particularly aiming the msme right now only msmes are getting benefit out of ies scheme uh, so you get to know the meaning financial support to the exporters okay now how much interest subvention is provided three percent to the msme manufacturer exporters 3% MSME and manufacturer exporters and 2% to others. 2% to uh, other uh, other than MSME manufacturer exporters, unko milta hai 2%. Hai. So please remember that very important star is there. 3% MSME exporters uh, and MSME manufacturer exporter 2% to others. Hai. Eligibility scheme is available to all scheduled commercial banks, small finance banks, urban cooperative banks and exim banks. If a firm or a company is taking benefit from production linked incentive scheme, the PLI scheme, then this benefit is not available. Interest equalization scheme ka benefit available nahi rahega. And banks, uh, they must provide exporters with details of prevailing interest rate, interest subvention. That should be, that's very obvious thing. It should be transparent. Okay. So now this is also import, important. So the exporters availing benefits under the PLI schemes, they cannot take benefit of interest equalization scheme. So please remember that. So latest updates, the government of India has extended to 30th of June, which is further extended uh, till 30th, 30th of September. So the extension dubara extend ho chuki hai. There is a cap on subvention amount. The annual net subvention amount is capped at 10 crore rupees per importer exporter code uh, that's a kind of license so per license or so per code 10 crore rupees ka cap is there and the banks uh, must price loans covered under this scheme at an average rate of interest not exceeding repo rate plus four percent so the banks they, they started uh, exploiting the exp exporters the small exporters uh, the msme exporters because the exporters they were getting benefit of three percent right uh, so the banks they started charging higher rate of interest to, to them okay uh, so that is why uh, the RBI came up with a guideline that uh, the rate of interest can be at max repo rate plus 4% and it is important. This is also important. Okay, it's uh, 30th of September tak extend ho gaya, right? So these are separate RBI guidelines. Very, very important. Uh, let's do the circulars. Uh, the first one, uh, the 8th of September, uh, 8th of March 2022, ko this circular came out. So the revised rate of interest 3% for MSME manufacturer exporters and 2% for the manufacturer uh, for other uh, other than MSME manufacturer exporters. So if you are taking benefit under PLI scheme, you are not uh, eligible. And for the telecom sector, 
uh, for the telecom sector this benefit is not available for telecom sector this uh, this benefit is uh, benefit of interest equalization scheme is not available theek hai so that was a circular uh, out on 2028th of march 2022 and the second one on 22nd of february 2022 ko bhi ye circular aaya which basically extended the 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 interest equalization scheme and it also came up with the interest rate cap repo rate plus 4% interest rate uh, can be charged that is a max cap on the interest rate that a bank can charge from exporter so that is the cap and it was introduced in this particular circular cap on the in, in, uh, subvention amount even this uh, you know circular came up with a 10 crore rupee cap or the 10 crore rupee limit uh, per importer exporter code in a financial year so that is a net subvention amount capping okay uh, another circular which extended the uh, the last date uh, which extended the scheme to 30th of september 2024 so what is the last date or the what the you know the date the scheme has been extended till 30th of september 2024 which june mein likha hua tha but it has been further extended and the extension is specifically applicable to msme manufacturer exporters okay so the cap is there 10 crore ka cap which was already there for msme exporters manufacturer exporters the cap is 5 crore rupee uh, till 30th of september and for manufacturing exporters and merchant exporters under the non msme categories the cap is 2.5 crore till 30th of June 2024. 30th of June 2024. Non MSME exporters, उनका ढाई करोड़ का लिमिट है. MSME का पांच करोड़ रुपए का लिमिट है, right? So annual subvention limit was 10 crore per uh, importer exporter code. ठीक है. But now the scheme is going to be expired. Um, so the question number one: What is the interest subvention rate for MSME manufacturer exporters under the interest equalization scheme? I hope the government is uh, going to extend the scheme again. बट थ्री परसेंट फॉर द एम एस एम ई मिलता है अप टू विच डेट द इंटरेस्ट इक्वलाइजेशन स्कीम हैज बिन एक्सटेंडेड एज पर द लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स इट इज एक्सटेंडेड टिल थर्टी एथ ऑफ सेप्टेंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर विच एक्सपोर्टर्स आर एक्सक्लूडेड फ्रॉम अवेलिंग द बेनिफिट अंडर द इंटरेस्ट इक्वलाइजेशन स्कीम इफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी टेकन द बेनिफिट अंडर द पी एल आई स्कीम यू आर एक्सक्लूडेड Uh, what is the cap on annual net subvention amount per importer exporter code under the scheme the cap is 10 crore rupees the cap is 10 crore per importer exporter code okay <clears throat> cap on subvention on msme manufacturer exporters till 30th of september 2024 it is 5 crore for msme manufacturer exporters till 30th of september 5 crore ka cap hai Uh, and that uh, interest what is the maximum interest that can be charged by bank uh, for the loans under the interest equalization scheme repo rate plus 4% very important question so i hope you like the today's session we try to make everything easy and super easy for you mp apex bank manager 2024 course it's available on bankexamstudy.com in which we are providing video classes notes quizzes and the test series link to join the course is available in the description if there is any doubt in your mind please ask your doubts and we are going to answer all your doubts uh, list of our successful students all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams and i'm really really happy for them and you can be one of them in the future and yes you would be one of them in the future Uh that's I guess all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye